Alright, welcome back to another vlog. It is a Tuesday today, the 20th of February. Uh, I've finished school and I am headed home now and it's just started to rain outside. So, training is off the cards today. I don't think I want to go out and do like four hours in this. But I'm definitely going to go to the gym. So I might grab old Jerry and then ride in the rain down to the gym and meet, meet up with Max, my mate and then probably do like an hour in the gym and then might even go for a little bit of a swim but I'll see what I end up doing Yo, Jim? Yeah? Yeah, half an hour? Yeah, sounds good. Do you want to go for a swim after? Yeah, I'm pretty keen. Yeah, okay, bring your togs. Sweet. Sweet as I'll see you in half an hour. Will do. Ladies. Didn't even reply. Alright, sounds like we're off to the gym, and then we're going to do a bit of a swim after. Swimming is really good for training because, like, at the, or well, this is what I was told at a um, development camp, is that is that the pressure in the water on your legs like after a hard day's riding or a hard week's riding of training so it's always good to do probably one swim session a week it doesn't it doesn't have to be long like do half an hour and then like it just compresses it's like a massage it just the amount of water in the pool all built up it just compresses the muscles in the legs so i'll probably head to the uh, gym do about an hour there um, then jump in the water and probably just do some like that flutterboard kicking and just like up and down there Then a few laps of just normal freestyle and stuff just to loosen the legs off for the rest of the week of the training or anything on because they've said in the news or something that there's both cyclone some sort of cyclones meant to be coming in through New Zealand but who knows Excellent. And then decent. And she's off. She is off. Right, let's go. Righto, we have finished our gym session and our swim session. And now the most important part of every training session is what Max? Uh recovery. Recovery and we're gonna go get smoothies at Pitapit. -Pit. Recovery is like just as important. Just as important as the train. Alright, well, my handlebars caught the seatbelt, so you're gonna have to drive safe. I'm <laughs> driving safe. What are you. 
Oh, bloody excellent. Oh, listen to it. Purr. Listen to it. Alright, we're getting the bloody vegan smoothies with protein. Oh, yeah. Do you want a $1 protein? Yeah, you got a $1 extra protein. <laughs> It makes all the difference and it doesn't actually taste like ass. Like most of those bloody vegan smoothies taste like ass, but. Wait, did you get the vegans? I don't know. I don't know, we'll find it. The berry blitz. It was not a berry blitz, it was like some anabolic thing. <laughs> Alright, man. Bird a bird. Jump in this park. But we'll go right through because we're fucking. We're and this is how you check if you're in the park. Oh, buddy, you bloody. Very good. Bloody fancy camera. You better lock it because it's Masterton. We've come to the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail of Masterton. So it's fruit and tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and, and you're going to get the protein. Yeah, the protein as well. Cool. And was that all? Yeah, that's it. Cool, that's 750. Cool, that's 750. Oh, bloody hell, that's excellent. Thank you. Give us a taste test. I can smell the protein. It's not terrible. It's actually very nice. Pretty good, isn't it? Not the fact. Always a helpful part. Come on, dog. Cheers, buddy. Gym like in the garage, but it seems to be all right. I am back home now. Um, I didn't get to film much at the gym because it was absolutely bloody packed. So, to finish off this video, I'm going to answer some comments that I have comments and questions that I got in on my videos recently. All right, laptop's dead, so I'm going to have to use my phone. One subscriber off hitting what? 2,900. All right, we'll go. Last video. Okay, someone said, what is it? Assertive Life asks, what are your cycling goals for the year? For this year, riding is, I just want to do some fun rides, get the love back for cycling and stuff, but at the end of the year, I really want to be fit enough to try and do the Tour of Southland that starts down, down obviously down south in the South Island of New Zealand. That's like a five day stage race down there, like a teams race that um, Josh has hyped up for me and Gordy's done like 30 odd times or something, ridiculous. So that's the, my big goal at the moment, just to get fit enough and endurance enough to do that. And then obviously, um, I want to do triathlon nationals, like in the team again, like swim, yeah, swimmer, I do the bike and then Max does the run. But I can't seem to find if there's a team this year, but I'd, like, I'd go down south to do that. Um, me and Max are probably going to go back to Pukekohe in Auckland to try and, uh, and do the triathlon national team event again. So he runs first, I ride. And then he runs again, and that's done on the racetrack. So those three events probably this year, and then obviously there'll be other stuff that comes up. <clears throat> Someone said upload all your rides to Strava. Um, I'm pretty sure my Strava link is in the description. If it's not, I'll put it there now. And yeah, I'll try and start um, uploading as much to Strava as I possibly can. So someone in my um, video about those 88 mil wheels said, "Was that a hyena that walked behind him?" No. And yeah, I thought that was a bit funny when I was editing it. Um, that there was a dog just randomly walked behind me. I didn't even notice it, but no, it's, we don't, I don't think we have hyenas in New Zealand anyway. Definitely not a master than, no, it was just a dog walking through because that's like a little uh, little um, crossroad road in between um, two roads. Just goes in like that, it's like a bit of a park in there. Uh, someone asked what hubs I got on those 88 mil wheels, and I'm pretty sure they're just the standard ones. So if you go on the foil, uh, foil wheels website, you can actually choose different hubs. You can get like DT Swiss ones and then then a stock one, and those are just the normal ones. I'm pretty sure the DT Swiss ones, they cost a little bit more, but they're even faster than those are already, which is bloody scary. 
All right, that's enough questions for the day. Um, I did, when I was working at the North, uh, uh, at the New Zealand Cycle Classic, about, what was that, like, probably a month ago now, um, I did a crit before the race start, because they did like a fun crit, and then they did a crit, and then they started the race. So I did that before, I think I got, I don't know, I got a third there or something. And then they had all these jerseys left over. So this is the under 23 leaders jersey with all the sponsors on it. And this was given to me by um, the race organizer who also lives in Marston and goes to my club. Brand new, still got the tag on it. What size is it? It's a size medium, so it should fit most people. So I'm gonna give this away. Um, so the, if you wanna win this jersey, it, yeah, size media, medium, uh, champion system white jersey. Yeah, I don't know, you can, you can wear it, you can ride in it, or you can put it up on your wall, whatever you want. This is the one that Robert Stanard won. If you want to win this jersey, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and once you've done that, comment why you want the jersey and where you live, and how long you've been watching my videos for, and then I'll pick a winner for the next video, and I'll send this out to you. I don't matter where, it doesn't matter where you live, because it's just a light jersey, so I can send this wherever. Alright, that's the end of this video. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. You want to check the two bike links in the description. You want some foil wheels links is also in the description. That's the end of this one. Give it a like, subscribe. And if you want the jersey, remember to comment below. See ya.